Welcome to my short video to demonstrate how to make your own cable to update firmware on ISDD chargers. Um, there are basically two ways of doing that. Um, it's possible to buy a ready-made cable from, um, I think AliExpress sells um, um, something called ISDT SC Linker, which is an um, ISDD product. So it's possible to buy a ready-made product. It costs about $8. But it's also possible, apparently, to make um, your own cable. Um, the entire credit for this video uh, goes to the um, elvinplay.com. Everything's pretty much described there, but I thought I'm going to make a short video to uh, make it easier. So, well, we're going to need a few things to actually uh, make it work. Um, first of all, we need a um, 4 pole 3.5 millimeter jack. Um, then we need FTDI USB to serial uh, adapter. Um, you can use either this one or that one. Anything should work really. Um, this is really cheap one from um, AliExpress. I think costs about two dollars maybe. It works fine. Uh, this is slightly different. Also works. Um, so there is a chance you may have one lying around. So we don't need to buy a new one. And this thing, uh, I guess you can just pick it up from eBay. I got mine from cpc.co.uk. Costs one dollar. Uh, very, very cheap. Looks like a solid quality. So, should be more than enough to make to make the cable. So, apart from those things, we're gonna need uh, obviously one of those. We're gonna need um, a few Dupont cables. Uh, actually, oh, this is the wrong one. Uh, these guys obviously we're gonna make it a bit shorter um, we need something to test for continuity which um, I will be using a multimeter and we also need a soldering iron and I think that's pretty much it so uh, yeah let's get to it I'm not gonna uh, demonstrate how to solder because my soldering skills are not very good. Um, first of all we need to uh, we need to find out which uh, pin corresponds to which part of the um, of our jack. So um, from the um, Elvin Play website I found out that um, this part here, the first one, that's the ground. This is DTR, the second one. We don't need that one for our project. Uh, the third one, it's TX connector, and the fourth one is RX. Now we have to determine which of these parts of the jack corresponds to which part, so we can on the other side, so we can um, get on with soldering. It's fairly easy to do if you have a multimeter or any any other way to check for continuity. Um, yeah, just select your multimeter. Continuity checking. Okay, so let's see which one is ground. Oh, for this one. This one's not. Okay, so this little pin here. That's our ground. This one, RX. This is TX. This one. Now we know which one's which. Obviously, it's not going to be a problem because we'll be using the palm cables, which cannot be. Uh, which can be plugged into any of the pins here. So if we even solder it kind of slightly wrong, it's, we still will be fine. So that's not gonna be an issue, but it's good to have your colors right, at least for the ground. The rest is just whatever, whatever works.
Okay, Doc, so it looks like we have our cable ready. Uh, let's just double check if we get all the connections right. Uh, okay, again, I'm gonna be using a multimeter for that. So, yeah, so the ground, which is this one. This is our RX. Yeah, and the white is the TX. It's also working. This one shouldn't give us any reading on any. Just to make sure, yeah, it's fine. And it's fine. Okay, so I guess that's the um, hard part finished. And um, now all we need to do. We have to download the software from the ISDT um, website. All the links, by the way, are in the um, in the description. And if you haven't used the um, FTDI uh, link on your PC, then you will have to install the drivers, uh, which I can show you where to get them from as well. So let's just change the camera and I'll show you how to do the rest on the computer. Right, back to the um, software side. If you have never used the FTDI uh, adapter, uh, you will have to install the drivers first, which you can obtain from the FTDIchip.com website. And most likely you will be using these drivers here and you can pick the right version from from the list. I'm using this on Windows, I don't know how well it works on other systems but it should be pretty much the same. Uh, so you download the drivers, install the drivers and that's one thing done. Uh, and then the next thing you have to download, you have to go to isdt.co isdt website, uh, select English from here and go to SC Linker and download the package, depending which um, uh, charger you're going to be upgrading. This is for SC608 and this is for SC620. I will be updating this one, hence I'm up downloading that version, which is 20192. Okay, click that. Uh, okay, so that's going to download the whole package, uh, including the installer and including the firmware. And after you've done this, you're pretty much ready to go. So let me just um, quickly go to my uh, folder here. Okay. okay, so this is um, uh, software that you need to use to update your uh, your charger. Uh, this is obviously for the SC620. I believe that will be exactly the same for SC608. It's just gonna have a different. Uh, it's just gonna have a different um, firmware on it. But I, I would assume that user interface is gonna be exactly the same. Um, to see the the best th thing to check whether you are actually connected or not is to change the charger name, which I'm gonna show you in a sec. Um, I do not believe we have to install the driver because we already have installed our FTDI driver. This is probably if you just got uh, the device from um, ready-made device, so you, you will have to install the driver for that. So let me just get back to the table and show you how to connect the um, uh, this to our charger. Let's start with connecting our uh, our cable to the um, uh, to our adapter. The ground is easy, you always connect up the ground. However, the TX on this one needs to go to the RX on that one and the other way around. So, from what I remember, our grey cable was um, uh, RX, so this needs to go to the um, TX here. And the white one, which is TX, needs to go to RX. 
Okay, so that's that's done. Uh, right, so this needs to be connected here. Once you connect your uh, FTD, FTDI uh, adapter to your computer, you should find it in your devices. If you can't find it there, that means that probably the driver wasn't installed properly, if you have any issues. Right, so just plug it in. Uh, I will be using the fully charged battery for this. Uh, I'm not 100% sure why they recommend that over connecting that to the um, uh, power supply unit, but let's just use this, it's gonna work definitely. Just make sure it's, um, it's fully charged. Let's just try to change the name first. You can see this name says ST620, so I just change it to something more personal. Okay, rename. Okay, it says connect to the smart charger on the screen. And now, yeah, change. So I believe we should have a proper link. And now we can probably try to update the software. Let me just check uh, uh, what its current version of the software, OS Info. Okay, so this is 2.0.0.4.5. I think we're ready to update the firmware now, so fingers crossed, see what happens. Connecting the charger. Okay. Looks like we're good. Okay. So what's the charger say? Okay, so testing, so it's restarting now. Okay, so we have just upgraded to 20192 version of firmware for the um, SC620. Okay, so this is how we do it. Again, uh, many thanks for the tutorial they found on the um, Elvin Play website. And it would be impossible to make this video without that website. Okay, um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. Again, all the links are in the descriptions. If you have any questions or comments, please post uh, below or just visit the um, review thread at RC Groups.